Yo, yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. So, hope you guys are all having an amazing day today. And in this video, we're going to be talking about what um, dragons and what riders and what towers, aka what branches you should get in this season. We're going to be specifically talking about each individual branch and what I think about them, um, whether you should go for them or not. And at the very end, I will give you my suggestion as far as which three branches you should be going for really technically the two branches because most people will have already gotten one or more um, during the half price. So we're going to start off with the mystery branch. Now the mystery branch, I can't really prep you guys for the upcoming ones, but today's definitely get the 20 gold chest five times for 2,500 sigils. That will give you a hundred gold, gold chest, which will pretty much give you those 2,500 sigils back on top of all the extra goodies that come in them so that is awesome the 100 gold chest definitely worth it if you have the sigils i would definitely invest in those gold chests if you're a free-to-play player probably advisable to save them to save the gold chest until pvp get you a bunch of you know inner fires and energy packs on top of the sigils that you spent on the gold chest definitely worth it Personally, I went for the Rune Dust as well. For 500 sigils, you get 2,500, sorry, 2.5 million Rune Dust, which is awesome. I'm in desperate need of it. So, um, you know, the other things like 50, 12 hour timers, definitely not too bad, but it's kind of dependent on your own situation. So, I'm not really going to talk about that too much. Now, the Crystal Tower, all right, as a tower, awesome. I mean, honestly, not even including the Super Shot, the normal attack from this tower is insane. The damage it does, I mean, I've been almost one-shot by it several times, right? So, as far as it being usable on a base, I would say, heck yeah, bro. It's definitely usable. Um, not only that, but the branch itself has 2,400 12-hour timers, which will help people progress so freaking much. I mean, this is a branch that if you have any sigils, if you're like, you know, about if you're about to end a branch and you're going to start another one and you have not gotten this tower branch yet start it it is worth it like it's crazy the amount of timers you get which will help progression um and all of that jazz i mean i had people this last work go crazy because they got so many timers from this branch so definitely worth it now then we got roshka which is the legendary hunter now unfortunately for most people i'm not sure how usable this guy is going to be um, unfortunately with the blue spell, his blue cloak, most people aren't going to be able to use this dragon to its full effect. Um, it takes a ton of skill to be able to use. I haven't even been able to figure out the timing of it. Um, I know there's one guy from New Genesis called Justin. I know he, you know, at least used to watch these videos. I don't know if he will or not. If you're watching it, dude, props, man. He's insane. Um, but he's been able to fly this dragon to perfection, um, even if there's a blue mage. So... I would say if you are a crazy good flyer, he's not a bad dragon to have. But for the majority of players that will be watching this video, including myself, I don't personally think that this dragon is worth going for. Um, you know, the glyph is nice. The mythic hunter glyph, which comes in all of the legendary dragons, where you get the mythic glyph that, like, as a sec secondary effect, buffs hunter attack by 8%. Like, that's crazy. Uh, very usable on other mythics. But as far as the dragon itself, not very impressive um, or viable for the majority of players. Uh, come on, game. Stop lagging. Um, it takes like five times to hit the exit button. Come on. There we go. Okay. So moving on to Maya. Now, Maya is technically speaking... Why is it so laggy? Come on, man. Come on. Maya. All right. So this is a defense rider. And technically speaking, stat-wise, the best in the game currently. Better than Krom. Um, I believe she offers 5% more tower attack than Krom, but 2% less HP, which is debatably worse than Krom. But as far as with like Nadja, for example, I would say that this dragon rider, or sorry, not dragon rider, base rider, is actually better because you want to deal as much damage to Nadja, but like in that little time where the shield is deactivated by let's say an ice flak as you can 
So having more attack is actually quite nice, and as well, it will also buff up your actual defense power that shows. So if you're into that, you know, this will actually be a decent defense rider. And if you don't have Krom, I mean, definitely, she's way better than Liani, she's way better than um, Tanakh, like a bunch of the other ones that we've had in previous seasons. She is awesome. So overall, not a bad one to get. Now, Asura, kind of the same thing as Roshka. You kind of need a lot of skill. As far as viability against most bases defended, not going to be super effective. Um, really, the only use that I would say this dragon has is um, for, again, his glyph and the rune dust. But most people should have gotten it during the half price anyways, so I'm not really going to spend a whole lot of time on him. Now, the base boost, again, most people should have gotten it during the half price. If you did not, I would say it's debatably one of the better branches. Now, of course, we're half, like, we're two thirds in the way of the season, right? Which means that you're going to get a lot less use, use out of the base boost because it will only last for another month. But it does give you some nice consumables. I believe it gives you, like, a bunch of black pearls, it gives you some gold chests, and other stuff like that. So if you didn't get it this season, I would definitely suggest getting it for next season, um, assuming that they have it half priced as well. And if they do, that'll be awesome. Now, Nusifra, honestly, I, I haven't seen this one in action. I don't think that as a dragon, she's very impressive. I think she's interesting. She's really pretty. But as far as viability against, you know, bases defended or even just normal bases, I'm not sure about her usability. Um, and again, like, sorcerers, sorcerer mythic glyphs are a little bit less, like, valuable as hunters, in my opinion. Again, I'm a hunter flyer, though, so, you know, if you enjoy sorcerers, maybe get her just for the glyph, so you can put it on your favorite sorcerer. I don't know, if you like, um, Fafnir, which, honestly, I've been very impressed by. There you go. But, overall, not, like, a super like, insane branch that I would, I would, I say, like, you know, absolutely go for it, right? Just, like, an average, right? Then we got Shoresh, which people have been talking about for Nadja. The thing with Shoresh is he's not a bad writer, but he is not the best. Ano is the best invoker writer, and honestly, he, he's crazy, right? He gives you a bunch of HP, he gives you a little bit of rage as well, um, both of which you need for invokers, especially like Nadja, where you don't really need a whole lot of attack on Nadja. You want HP. HP will keep her alive. She already one-shot stuff with her normal attack, which is why she's so good. So you just want to keep her alive. Um, so I would say if you don't have Ano, if you don't have Reginald, I, this would be a viable rider. But any rider that has just pure dragon HP and attack stats is decent. That That's the kind of rider that you want on invokers. Um, as far as like his use, you know, usefulness for normal dragons, you have a lot of other options. So if you aren't going for the invoker mythic, I wouldn't even go for Suresh anyways. Okay, so that is the branches. Now, if I had to suggest three branches to go for, I would definitely have to say the Crystal Howitzer and Asura and the base boost, right? So that's assuming that you finished one line during the half price and then um, like started, let's say the base boost. So you got Asura during the half price and started the base boost. You're finishing up the base boost and now you're left and you need to finish one more line. I would definitely say go for the tower. Now, if you're a brand new player, you're just starting out. I, again, I would say go for the tower. Mostly because of the, the um, speed-ups. The speed-ups and the Elemental Embers will really help you guys progress your base. You know, that's kind of one of the biggest things in this game, is you're kind of held back by your level at most, most of the time. Maybe not at lower levels, but especially once you start getting into, like, over 100, you're going to start realizing that it's taking more and more to level up, and this base will help you kind of expedite, literally, because they're called expedites, um, expedite your growth. I know some people would suggest like going for a dragon. Honestly, again, I'm not really impressed with either Roshka or um, Nusifura, but it is what it is. You know, if you want a dragon, out of the three dragons, I would probably say Roshka is the most viable. 
Because if it's not defended and, you know, if you're going against a base that has one blue, you can just take out the blue and then cloak and then you're golden, right? So, like, really the only issue comes up whenever it's against a well-defended base. Which, if, you know, you're a higher level and you're hitting an Atlas, that's going to be most bases, unfortunately. But um, if you're a brand new player, Roshka, I mean, it's, he's going to be awesome for you. So it's kind of a toss-up between that, but yeah. Also, if you don't have Krom, um, I would say Maya. So let's say let's say you only got one branch during the half price. So let's say you got a Sur, okay, and you have two branches left. I would say go for Roshka and the Crystal Howitzer Tower. Or if you don't have Krom, I would go for the Tower, Maya, and then whichever one of the half price branches that you got during the half price. Yeah, so moral of the story is the tower is awesome, not only because of the tower itself, but the branch and all the speed ups. 